Well, howdy there, folks. This is ID Jester, and you're watching a live stream of Path of Exile. So we are a level. What are we? Seventeen. We are a Crusader duelist. Duelist. That's what we are. And we are currently in the location of the old field. So um, we're checking this out. We're trying this game. I'm doing a live stream here on my uh, Twitch TV account, which is, of course, Twitch TV forward slash ID Jester. We are playing a Nemesis character. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Nemesis is, it's one of the leagues they got going on right now until the end of February, where your character, if he dies, Will become a standard character and basically you, he's removed from the Nemesis League so you cannot let your character die under any circumstance there's no ex there's no um what's the, oh yes hit him hit him hit him there you go there is absolutely no way to get your characters back they tell you that in a message when you go to join the league it says lag spikes game crashes whatever if your character dies, it's gone. So we picked up something here, some boots. Um, we should probably identify these. We use scrolls of wisdom to identify things in. So we got 24 armor and 8 energy shield, which is better than what we have. And it gives us some increased movement speed. Right now we're getting maximum life and life regen. We could use some of our orbs to... It's a red socket. You notice there's only one red socket. I've mean, got one of my gems in there right now, which is cleave. But I can't use cleave because cleave doesn't work with maces. It only works with swords. Do I have a secondary sword or secondary weapon? I do not. Um, so if I had a second weapon, maybe a couple swords I could put in there, then I could use my cleave power. But some of my other powers won't work with. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I have to look at that. I'll just start gathering up some swords and seeing what happens. Battered foil is a one-handed sword, and we'll just pick these up just to throw them in our inventory and see. Right now, let's take our cleave out and we'll put it in there. All right, now you'll notice I will be able to cleave. There we go. There's our cleave. It's like a little swing in front of you. I can still use my dual strike, and I also have my little uh, teleport power, which is flicker strike. There we go. Ooh, these things are nice and fast. They do 9 to 17 damage. It's about half of what my other damage is right now, but it's alright. Oh, here's a yellow. You notice the name in yellow up at the top. That means he is a uh, elite character. He's got some special bonuses going on. He's got life regen. Nope. He's got, what is this? Apparition. So he turns into like a ghost. Okay. Well, how do you like that, Mr. Ghost? And he dropped absolutely nothing worth a crap. Oh well. Sometimes, ooh, don't want to be surrounded. I don't like being surrounded. Oh, let's use our little cleave power. That's what we put this out for. Oh, there's a, another special monster there. Let's make sure we don't get trapped. Let's have a way out. Remember, we are in the Nemesis League, which means if you die... You will have no recourse other than becoming a standard character. I killed a river monster, that's good. These little swords, I like these little swords. They seem to go pretty quick. And you can change weapons by just hitting our our uh, W key there. And you notice I no longer have that power in my Q because I have now have it on a different... Uh, dual strike, what would Viper strike I can't use? 
That's another one I could move over to my other weapons. Heavy strike I can use, so we might as well put that in there. Okay. And you can see the difference here. Uh, let's just look at, say, heavy strike. So heavy strike, we uh, have 169 damage. We can look at our... Uh, oops. Yes, our... Uh, I believe it's the X key, not the Y key. I said uh, 165 damage with our swords. We change over to our maces. It's 223 damage. And you can see all the stats. Really nice breakdown. That is... That's awesome, folks. Absolutely awesome. Alright, so, oh, we got another ruined titan trying to get in our way here. He didn't last very long. Looks like we got a little... Oh, there's the crossroads. So that one... Um, you. There we go. Will take us either here or here. I'm not sure which one the crossroads is, so let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Alright, uh, bring up our U key again. Okay, so we went up, so we gotta find the one that takes us the other way. So, we will do that. Really nice looking game. I played the uh, pre beta version of this game when it first came out. Boy, really? Huh. I got this whole southern quadrant pretty well mapped out and I haven't found anything unless there's a way to get by these let's double check that wall there hmm interesting I say in the very very interesting so there's a wall here can we go south of the wall I see no way to go south of the wall Okay. Fine, be that way. We'll just have to look around for it, I guess. Usually, if it goes to the south, it's usually on the south edge of the map. Okay, you're. What are you doing to me? Okay, get out of there just to make sure we're not. Chieftain, die. Okay. There's my little teleport power there. Teleport to the monsters and then bash them in the head with my. So blue items are mm, uncommon. Or not rares, I don't think. Okay, teleport. There we go. Uh, yellow, I believe, are the rare ones. Let's see here. So that um, gives us some evasion rating. So evasion is basically dodging attacks as opposed to armor which will uh, block damage from incoming attacks. So we'll try to level up our duelist a little bit here. Oh, there was a little bit of lag, hopefully. That's why I don't want to get in the middle of something too serious because if anything happens, and uh, it has, as I mentioned, oh, there's a scroll of wisdom. Finally found something worth picking up, at least. And of course, you can get these white items, and with your different orbs and different different uh, resources, you can actually get these white items leveled up all the way up to rare items. Um, I don't know if I have one of those. So that'll upgrade it to a magic item. Uh, this will enchant a magic item with a new random property. This will reforge a magic with a new random property. This will give it a different color socket. This will improve the quality of the item. So lots of different things you can do with them. So if you find a, you know, if you needed a really good set of blue, um, you know, if you had a lot of blue skills and you found an item that was pretty good, it had a lot of blue sockets, but it was still a white item, you might want to pick it up just so you could try to enhance it later on. 
So it makes all the items dropped, and even though if they're not yellow or blue, it makes them still viable. Okay, we've now run into our uh, continuation of that wall. Alright, um, yeah, I guess we can pick up the woo item, we can sell it. It does take up quite a lot of space in our inventory, as you can see, but... There's our scroll of wisdom. So scroll of wisdoms are your identify scrolls for those of you who are familiar with the Ablo. And who isn't, right? Um, there you go. Boom. <laughs> That's just the super cool power. Super cool. Uh, well, we've been here. We've killed some... Yeah, like I said, normally, if you look at our map, mini-map here, since we're going off to the south, normally your your exit is here to the south. That's why I was going along the south edge, but... I um, don't know if I missed something somewhere. It looks like it's pretty well mapped in. Yep. So I guess we'll just keep searching around until we have this whole area explored, I guess. Well, that was the wrong key. you got to keep your hand on the right key. We used to play in Infinite Crisis. If you guys haven't played Infinite Crisis yet, you should try it out. It's pretty cool. But I use different keys for that. So, when I put my finger on the keyboard, just naturally go to that key combo that I'm used to doing. Okay, Mr. Ape Boy. Take one on the chin and like it. Surprised my little people haven't called me and said, hey, oh, there's a lot of dudes there. Let's make sure we don't get ourselves in a lot of trouble here. They got the big boys first. They, I think they call all the little guys over. Kind of buff them up. I think that's why they got that little green thing over their head. Or they did. It only lasts a certain amount of time, I think. Okay. We'll do our... What is our... Oh, this is our heavy strike. There we go. So we obviously have some pretty good life regen because we're not losing too much life. We get hit occasionally and at that point uh, our life regen kicks in and maybe we got some life steal. We can look at that here after this battle. Froze him. That's another cool thing I got. All right, um, so oh, there's another guy. There was another guy. Um, yes, yeah, so C brings up this, so you can find out. <clears throat> uh, defense here, we got physical damage reflected. We got mana regeneration. We got 4.7. We got 10.8 life regeneration, and we have 35 or 35. How about 350 life right now? We also have that white part of your life globe is your energy shield. So the first thing that will happen is damage will be taken out of my energy shield first and then once that's removed then my life will come off. So um, here's my armor is 16 so estimated physical damage reduction only 5% so not so good. But I do have an evasion rating of 290 which means I have a 42% chance to evade all that damage anyways. So, kind of focusing more on evasion than I am armor with this character. Obviously, it depends on the different characters. Well, well, oh, here's the den. Mm, what was our quest? Hunt down the Great White Beast located in the old field. We are in the old field. This is where we need to go. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
Yes, I believe I remember this now. This is, I think, where my buddy died. <laughs> In, inside this. Okay, don't get surrounded. Have an escape out of there. And of course you have your potions over here. We will... There we go. What do we... Oh, one of our gems leveled up. So each of the gems will also level up. You can see right now it deals... Oops. Get off of me. Our gem right now deals 2 to 30 lightning damage. Uh, 1 point... 1 point 1.5 seconds. So it deals 2 to 30. So we'll level this up. And then we'll look at our gem again. And it does 2 to 38 damage. Now, much better. So this is a kind of a... Where you put these little things on the ground. Oops. Got to concentrate on what I'm doing. There's a lot of guys here. Nope, that's not the right key. This is the key I want. not the right key either. What the heck? There we go. Okay. So it puts these little lightning things, these spots on the ground, and then one and a half seconds later, lightning comes down and attacks that whole area. So, so if I get them all lined up right here at the doorway, when these guys try to come in on me, they get blasted by lightning. Ha ha ha. All right, we're in here. We're trying to find Great White Beast or whoever that creature was. Mm-hmm. This looks like a really good spot for some lightning bolts. Whoa. All right. Don't normally use that power just because I'm used to like teleporting over and smacking them down with my maces. Like that one. Like that. Exactly like that. As a matter of fact, exactly like that. Whoop, there's a big blue dude. So he would probably be good because he's slow. Roll a bunch of these charges right here on the ground. My mana regen, I could probably spam this pretty regularly. Let's just put a health potion on there. He's almost dead. All right, we got a short bow out of it. Nothing to write home about. And uh, he was down here all by himself. That whole whole passageway led to him and him alone. And wasn't much to it, was there? Um, let's go down this path, I guess. Oh, there's some big dudes. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. How do you like them apples? Huh, Mr. Cave Bear? Hey, you leveled up. Which, we get to show you the wonderful, and when I mean wonderful, I mean really confusing, skill tree. Here is the skill tree in all of its gloriness. It's actually not that bad. Each there are six different characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and each of the locations, um, each of the character starts in a different location. Um, your wit starts at the top, I believe, and there's mostly mana up here, and uh, then you have uh, a strength and dex character down over this way. This character over here is all dex, and so each. Each, if I wanted to go more decks, I go this way, and if I want to do more strength based things, I go this way. And anyways, we zoom in, you can see um, so extra melee damage, life regeneration. Uh, some of the bigger things give you uh, some better quality things. So this will give us eight percent physical melee damage. Of course, then we can come over here and get extra armor and six percent increased maximum life. We can get that, and then we can do steel screen. So if we're going to do armor, we would go this way. If we're going to do two-handed weapons, we would go that way. We're doing one-handed weapons. That's why we came in this way. Now what's over here? More life. Mm -hmm. That would not be a bad option to go to that towards that. 
This is chance to block with shields. Here, this is dual wield blocking. I am dual wielding. Oops, wait a minute. Let me make sure I'm not being attacked. It sounded like somebody was attacking me there. Um, so, 6% increased chance to block with shields. Well, I don't have a shield, but this is what I was looking at. Dual wield block. 2% additional chance to block while dual wielding. And then, of course, we can do the dervish, which gives us a 10% additional chance to block while dual wielding. 16% increased physical damage. Yeah, so I think we're going to do that. And then next time we'll do the dervish there. And, um, yep, so that is a skill tree in all of its glory. So, folks, I'm going to bring this video to a close. So, um... Unless I see what I think I see. And put your fingers on the right key again. Oop, Master Monkey. Okay. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. I don't like you hanging around with all those. There we go. Get rid of some of his buddies. He's not so tough when he doesn't have his 50 buddies around him. So what we'll do is we'll switch over to our swords here and we're going to just start cleaving everybody. Okay, just cleave the world apart. And cleave, cleave, cleave. Alright, now we'll switch back to our maces here. The reason I was going to come bring this episode to a close, but then I changed my mind possibly, was no. I thought I saw, thought I saw the boss, but I don't see the boss. So I will bring this episode to a close. So thanks for watching, and of course you can always check out my YouTube. So my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash idjester. So thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you in the next episode.